Hello, Pratija. Hello, sir. And student, everyone likes to dance. You, me, Khatija, and yes. others also. And today, you will be wondering what dancing has got to do with a chemistry experiment. Well, we have called our experiment Dancing Naphthalene Balls. So, to start this experiment, we have over here a beaker full of water. Then we have oxalic acid over here. We have sodium bicarbonate. and a few colorful naphthalene balls. In this measuring cylinder, which is about one liter capacity, yes, sir. Khatija has already added the oxalic acid as well as sodium bicarbonate. You can lift it up and show it yes. to the students. You can see it is in powder form. Give it a nice mix. So we have now mixed it. And will you please introduce the naphthalene balls into yes. this Katina? Yes. We are now ready for the experiment. Yes. Now let us put on some safety goggles because we are making use of yeah. chemical. Now I'll Pick up this beaker of water, introduce it into the yes, jar, sir. and you will see a chemical reaction take place. In this chemical reaction, bicarbonate is going to react with the acid and produce carbon dioxide gas. Okay. That carbon dioxide gas is going to play a very important role in making the balls dance. Students, you have seen now, the reaction has been very vigorous. Now I am going to add some more water into this. Some of the balls have come up to the top. There you can see one going down after some time. Now we can see them going up and down, a little hazy it is. So I'll try to add a little bit more water to clear it up. Now you can see that the pink ball has come to the surface, the green has followed it for some time and now the green ball is going down again. Yes, sir. Right? Yes sir. Why is it happening? This is a question everyone will ask why yeah. is it happening. So students, just to make the visibility of the experiment much more better, we have changed the solution and now you can see that one of the balls will start rising slowly and when it does so, you can see carbon dioxide stuck on the surface. Yes. This is called adsorption. See, you can see those bubbles sticking over there. When it comes to the top, it releases the carbon dioxide becomes heavy and then settles down again. Now this is a very important phenomenon. So this is why we have named this experiment Dancing Naphthalene Balls. I hope you enjoyed this experiment because it's quite fascinating. Thank you and thank you Khatija for your help. Thank you sir.